<laughs> but they're, they're noisy tonight. Mm. Right, happy new year. If you want, right, you won't be saying that later. So let me just turn this down. Right, tonight we're doing a strength session. Very little cardio, cardio apart from the warm up. Late dragon. Right, so it's mainly legs as well. Hardly any upper body tonight. We're not doing anything above the waist. So it's glutes, hip flexors, lower abdomens, thighs, hamstrings, calves, all that, everything below the waist. Anybody who's got doggy knees, this is good for you. So try and do all the exercises. Can you have what? Are we all listening? <laughs> right then. Let's get the warm up going then. Right, anybody got anything new that's broken I need to know about? Just in case you don't know as well, I've broken my ribs on the other side this time. Incident. And I have no idea other than that. <laughs> I just woke up at three o'clock in the morning, wedged down the side of the toilet and the bath. Still holding my toothbrush. <laughs> but yes, it's as bad as last time. <laughs> So there might be some exercises I can't do tonight. Right then. This is the only bit of cardio you're going to be doing, so make the most of it. Right, arms over. All the way over, get them as close to your ears as possible. And back the other way. Shake your arms off. Flick your heels up. Let's get straight into it tonight. All right, pick your knee up, cross over. <laughs> Yeah, opposite knee, opposite elbow. Just go over the other you've forgotten how to do exercises over Christmas. All right, I want leg open hip out, hip openers. Right, so just step forward and fling your leg up lightly. So if everything starts to loosen up, you can go a bit higher. We are not stretching, so don't push it too far. Just where it's nice and comfortable. You just feel it start to tug no higher. Last one, change legs. Same again, start off low. A little bit higher. Stop when you're at your limit, though. I don't want to get this into a stretch. Take it off. Right on your toes. Nice and light. Right. I get them knees up. Nice and high. You're going to play horses, you can do. I bet they all behind me, aren't they? <laughs> right, back to a jog. Nice and light. <laughs> like you're boxing. On your toes. Heel flicks. Nice and light. Right, 
What do you mean? <laughs> I'm back to a jog. Right, be careful with this one. So it's front to backs. Nice and light. Keep it small. Be careful with your hamstrings, calf muscles, Achilles. Right, change legs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, everybody warm up. Everybody nice and warm. Good. Right. Are you listening? No. Right, I want these exercises slow and controlled. These are strength exercises, so don't go blasting through them, throwing yourself up and down. Very, very slow and controlled. We're going to start off with squats. First set, normal squat with a pause at the bottom, counter two. We'll do them together. Ten of. Are you ready? So, zoomies, squats, nice and slow, down and a pause. Ready? Go. So down, pause, two count, and back up, down, two count, it's like Sally this, back up, down, back up, nice and controlled, back up, imagine you're reaching for a chair, stick your bum backwards. How many is that die? Seven. <laughs> I was counting. Just checking she was paying attention. Last one, all the way down. Just hold it a little bit longer. And back up. Shake your legs out. Right. Who brought the water bottle? Well done. Goblet squats. I forgot my water bottle. Call them goblet squats because you hold your water bottle like you're holding a goblet. If you tip it out, your wine falls out of your goblet. So you've got to keep your hands pointing upwards. Right, split stance. We're doing a split stance so it keeps your weight on your front leg. It's like a single leg squat. So about that far forwards, your hips are going to go in a straight line up and down. So it's just down. And back up. Try and use your, just your front leg, not your back leg. We're going to do five on one leg, five on the other. In fact, no, we're not. We're doing ten on left leg. So just keep one leg forwards. I remember what I put now. Left leg, ten on one leg. Right, go. Sit so down, nice and controlled. Weight on front leg. Don't use your back leg. Just try to use your front leg. Your back leg's just there for guidance. Nice and controlled. Just go as deep as you can. So if you've got a weak knee, you're forcing this knee to activate its control muscles now instead of using the other knee. Experiment, try not to use your back leg. How many does that die? Well done, shake it off. Next set, you're going to do the other leg. Don't look at me like, what are you scowling at me for? Right, so if you have got one knee worse than the other, feel it out. Don't go too far, just go to where it's comfortable. Let the muscles build up in a controlled way. If you go too far, you go through your weak spot, it won't, it won't actually make any better. Ready and go. This is my bad leg as well. So take that time. Try and make that knee be stable. It starts wobbling. Keep it in a straight line. Don't go as deep. Again, focus on keeping that weight on the front leg. The bag's there, just there for to support. And is that die? Nine. Nine. 
Is there one more or not? <laughs> well done. Right, shake your leg out. Shake both legs out. Right, hip hinges. We've been doing a few of these. They're backed by popular demands. Legs slightly bent. We're going to go both arms down this time. So it's going to be 30 seconds. Do it as slow as you can. Everybody do it in their own time, though, but slow. Ready? Go. It's 15 seconds each leg, then we're going to change. So just take your time. Go down. Make sure that back leg comes up in line with your upper body. Don't worry if you've lost all your balance over Christmas. You've been having a lot of wobble juice. Uh, too much wobble juice. Right, change legs. We might change this to 30 next week. It is. Last one. And back up. Shake your leg out. Right, grab yourself a buckle. Right, so whichever leg you start on, hold your buckle in the opposite hands. So if I'm starting on this leg, Hold it in the opposite hand. This time we're going to do 15 seconds. Bent over, but we're going to start a lawnmower while we're down there. <laughs> so you're going to get it down. And then when you're down, just bring it up to your shoulder. Nice and slowly and hold it. Right? That upsets your balance. It forces you to balance a bit more. <laughs> it smells lush. <laughs> Oh, right, 15 seconds, go. Just make sure that back leg is in line with your torso. Try and keep your balance. Another two. Right, change legs. Swap arms. Same, over we go. So even on your bad leg, make sure you've got a slightly bent knee. You might feel your knee clicking and grinding a bit. Don't go down as far. Only go down as far as you can hold it comfortably. Last one. And back up. Yeah, I think we'll up that to 30 next week. Right, next one for this. Change the bottle to the other hand. So it's on your standing leg. No, it's opposite, opposite arm to your standing leg. If you've done it wrong last time, wrong, swap hands. <laughs> that was blatantly obvious. <laughs> right, ready, go. So this time it should be same arm, same leg, unless you did it wrong. And change legs. Just remember, if you see bad leg, don't go down as low, just go where it's comfortable. And you can hold it comfortably. You go down too far and you start wobbling, you can start crunching your knee. Last one, and back up. Shake your legs off. There you go. Nice, easy one. <clears throat> right. Have we got a spare chair for me? Cool. I'll tend to get right. Zoom is you'll need your chairs now. <coughs> Ideally put them against the wall so they can't slide back. Make sure you are stood a good distance away from your chair. Laces down on the front of the chair. <laughs> Who's done Bulgarian lunges before? <laughs> right. Only go as low as is comfortable. You are doing five each leg to start off with. We'll see how everybody goes. 
Five each leg. We're going to do them slowly. Are you ready? Go. So it's just down. Try not to use that leg to lift you back up. So get as low as is comfortable. Last one, and then change legs. Five, and then change legs. Now yeah, I'm going to see how everybody goes with this first. This is a bit of a leap of faith, this one. So remember, if you're on your bad leg, feel it out. Don't go as deep until you're confident. You don't want to get stuck down because we'll just laugh at you. If you're comfortable, just experiment. We're going a little bit further. You've got a nice hip flexor stretch too. And up. Shake your legs out. They're all right then, aren't they? <laughs> <clears throat> right, so we're doing three sets of these. Straight off, no different, the same. Right, second set then. Are you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Nice and slow again. Just go down as far as you feel comfortable. So make sure you're a good distance away from your chair. That's good, Kate. That's perfect. Well done, Mick. That's good, that. That's good control. Yeah, yeah. That's what you should feel on the other one. Just don't go as deep. Go to the point where you start to lose control. So once you've done your five, straight onto the other leg. If you're struggling with it, because it might be because you're too close to your chair. That's good, Lindsay. Well done. That's it, Paul. Well done. Good control, that. Well done, Phil. So once you've done your ten, just shake your legs off. We will be upping these. These are the nearest thing you can do to doing a single leg squat on squat machine in gym. Pardon? We've got one more set of them to do. So again, nice and slowly. How many are you doing each leg? <laughs> the five. <laughs> you can tell his first one after Christmas. <laughs> right. Last one. <laughs> Off you go. See how Zoomies are doing. That's it, Julia. Well done. Nice and controlled. Just go. Trick is with this. Just go to where it's comfortable. Let your control muscles build up. You go down to that dead spot in your knee. If you've got a bad knee, you'll have a dead spot about halfway down. You go down to that dead spot. Every week, you can go a little bit further. You go through your dead spot. You'll just end up over-articulating. You'll have to put too much pressure on to get yourself out, and it's actually counterproductive. Makes it worse. <coughs> so nice and slow down. Remember, it's negative lifting. Really control down slow. Power control back up. Well done, Vicky. That's good. Right, walk it out. Get a drink if you need. Make sure your chairs are against the wall. We're not done with chairs yet. You like that? Right then. Just to flip it to the other side now to get you a bit of plyometrics. Plyometrics. This is plyometrics. Py pyrotechnics, yeah, play must. Right. <laughs> Paralytics, yeah. Right. So you can do this one a little bit faster, but it's not a cardio one. Right, it's step-ups. So I'm not going to make you do the slow up and down like we've done before. You've just done that. So all I want you to do is just stop. But I want it controlled. 
Try and change legs like I didn't do the first time. So it's just that. 30 seconds. That kind of pace. So it's not cardio, but it's not super slow. You've just done it super slow. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. That's it. So try and get it so you step up with the other leg each time. Otherwise, you just end up building up the same muscle. Yeah, Di likes these. She's got a little skip, I remember. <laughs> so that's it, nice and controlled. So it's not super slow, but it's not super fast. Super fast, good, but it usually results in paperwork. Oh, sorry, two, one, off. <laughs> yes. Sorry, I was getting just, I was trying to turn the notifications off on my phone. Right, get a breather, just walk it off. Right, we're going to do three sets of these again, so there's no change to these. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. No. Bill. Bill, Kate needs a leg rubbing. I, I yeah. <laughs> Two, one, off. Bang on 30. You know, you're watching me. All oh, right. <laughs> I need one of them big swimming clocks, don't I? <laughs> I will look at one. Vicky had one for sale, didn't she? One of them big count. Oh, them huge, great countdowns. Yeah. I might, have to, I might have to see if the club will invest in that one. Right. Third and final set. Up you get. Three, two, one, go. I'm, I'm assuming El 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 Elaine's on a staircase. I'm assuming An Angela's around the corner with a bottle of gin. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Zoom is missed that. The room is missed that then. <laughs> Last five, don't let it off. Try and keep the same pace going. Two, one, off. Shake your legs out. Shift your chair out of the way. Is with a twist. Ah. Lateral lunges. Right. Lateral lunges. Lateral lunges. So it's like a 360 lunge, but not the forward and backward bit. Side to side lunges. You are doing five each leg. So we are going to do five one way, then we're going to do five the other way. So we're all going to go that way. Lateral lunges. Right. Yeah, we're going that way. Down. Make sure you push your bum out backwards and back up. Take your time to feel for it going down. So stick that bum backwards. Back up again. Number three. Get the hands off their knees. <laughs> so don't go too low. If it's hurting, losing control, you're going too low. Just take a shorter step. That's Sit, change legs, other side now. Feel for it, start off with a small step. If it's easy, go a little bit wider. Just imagine somebody's grabbing your butt and pulling it backwards. Keep your hands to yourself, Phil. <laughs> I don't even want to know. How many is that? Is that last one? 
Oh, well, he, he got a bonus one. Shake your legs out. <coughs> Right, you can use your bottle for this one. You don't have to. We're going to introduce a knee lift and an arm raise now. Oh, that's somebody's... Thanks, oh, that Mark. feels cold. I'm... Thanks, Mark. I'm leaving right. now. Cheers. Thank no worries. you. Thanks. See you later. Right. Whichever leg you're stepping out with, hold your water bottle in that hand. Right. When you go down, put the water bottle down on the inside of your leg. When you come up, straight up into a knee raise and an arm raise. Right, one fluid movement. One fluid movement. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, off we go. Five again each side, so reach for it. Take your arm down. Up, one movement, straight down. Is that five? Right, change legs, change arms with your bottle. So it's same arm, same leg you're stepping out with. It's okay, I've not got wide angle lens on. <laughs> she's not going to get me because she's got to come in front of the camera to do it. <laughs> so stop when you've done five, shake your legs out. <laughs> One more to go. I'm going to watch you all this time. So this time, change your arm with your bottle. It's opposite arm to the one you're stepping out with. So when you step out, you're going to reach across this time. So your bottle's going down to your foot. And up again. So what we're doing is we're loading your muscles up. We're putting dynamic movement in as well. So it forces them control muscles to work. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Five in your own time. You're going to rely on for you to count for yourselves now. God, that looks impressive. It's like a proper gym class. <laughs> oh, Zoom is doing well done. That's it, spot on. So remember, pull that bum back so you feel as if you're reaching for a chair behind you again. Don't be tempted to lean over. Five each side, yeah. Well done, Anne, that's good. That was good, good and low, that. Get your legs out. Standing knee raise with twist. And with three tips on temples. <laughs> right, you ready? Come on, get your asses off them chairs. This is why I don't like chairs. Right, I'll stand sideways and then I'll turn around so you can all, I'll, I'll do it this way first. Right, so um, fingertips on your temples. Right, pick a leg. Right, all you're going to do is bring a knee up and bring your elbow down to it. Change legs, the other side. I think it's 10 each side. No, 30 seconds. 30 seconds alternating sides. Three, two, one, go. Take your time with it. Don't go too fast. Make sure you get a good rotation. 30 seconds. So get that knee nice and high, get that rotation down. So you're reaching for it with your twist rather than just bending over. Last 10, keep it going. It's a really silly exercise, this, but it's actually quite hard to do properly. Jenny's got it. Kate's got it. Well done. Ellen's got it. That's good. Well done, Mick. And time. Sorry, overran a bit. Back, back up, back up. Timekeeper failed as well. 
Can't get staff. <laughs> she can't see that. She can't see that on the floor there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> even Debbie's shocked. <laughs> right, three, two, one, go. So zoomies are doing. So that's it, nice and controlled. Bring that knee up. So the knee's coming up in front of you. You're not bringing the knee across. That's really bad for my ribs. Last 10. So make sure you're twisting. Three, two, one, off. Right, it's, it's really important that your knee comes up in front of you. It's not just doing that, right? So it's up in front. Get a good twist. Don't just do that. Because there's somebody over there doing that. <laughs> she can't even hear. You... <laughs> yeah. <coughs> exactly. <laughs> Diane, we're going to run out of oxygen in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. I need to do these because it hurts my ribs, so it must be doing me some good. Last ten. Three, two, one, off. Buggy hip flexors is a good workout. It's much better than rolling around on the floor with your legs all over the place. And <laughs> I wasn't looking at you. <laughs> ah. Pardon? <laughs> I've heard some tenuous excuses. <laughs> I I my I might have been just coming and asking for some new follow. <laughs> that's a that's a new one. <laughs> right, third set. Three, two, one, go. What? Have we done three already? All oh, right. You don't want to do another one. That's a fairly unanimous. Thought we liked them. <laughs> Well, I don't feel so bad about giving you this one now. Right, single leg lunges. Stand on one leg. We're doing five on each leg. I think it's five, yeah. Please be careful with this one. Right, you've got no chair to support you now. So you don't have to go down a long way. These are very short lunges. So just pick your leg up. Shove your bum back and just go down. Just push your bum back. Bring it back up. Five, each leg. Down, hold, come back up. So that leg goes out behind, stick your bum back, drive your hips up. Imagine you're like on full Monty, give it some woof. <laughs> and then change legs. A what? <laughs> That's it. Hips back, hips up, give it some welly. Woof. <laughs> Flash, Lord, Lord, flash art. <laughs> We're going to call them flash art, lun flash art lunges. <laughs> Do you like them? No, right, they're, they're not. They're not pleasant, but they're about the best thing for strengthening your knee up because you've got no other support now. You're just relying solely on that knee stability. So only go down as far as you can do. Yeah, just go down. It's just, it's just, even if you can only go down that far, when I started doing them, I could hardly do it. I couldn't even bend that knee hardly. 
I've got dodgy knee as well. <laughs> oh God, the dodgy knee came first. <laughs> I've got tight. I've got titanium in my knee and all. <laughs> right, ready, go. So just go down to where it's comfortable, even if it's only a small movement. Stick your bum back. It is easier if you lock your core and push your bum back. When you've done five, change legs on the bad leg now. Oh, <laughs> I know that's doing good because it's horrible. <laughs> One more of them to go. Right, last set. Ready and go. So same again, nice and controlled. If you're feeling comfortable now, you start to wake that knee muscle up and the appropriate you go a little bit deeper. You start to lose stability. Don't go as deep. Remember, it's all about push your bum back, giving it a flash art as you come up. When you've done your five, change legs. I might have done six. Counting is not my big thing. They're really good for you. <laughs> just do a little, just do a little bit. Just don't do a good massive. Even if you just do that to start off with, within two or three weeks, it really does come quick. Right, get yourself your chair. Just remember, we don't need any mats for this. Oh, we do bridge. Right, seat yourself on your front. I hope. <laughs> seat yourself on your front to your chair. Right, hold on to your chair so you've got a good hold on it. Just give her a nudge. <laughs> Pick your feet up, right? Get yourself comfortable and all you're doing is just pulling your knees in. Taking them back out again. Try not to let your feet touch the ground. You might have to hold the back of the handles at the back of the chair. Thirty seconds. You've still got another ten to go. <laughs> Two, one, and off. So it's this. Sit on the front of the chair, hold on to the back of the chair, lean back, stick your feet out, just bring them up. So you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's your hip flexors. It's, it's, it's isolating. If we do it on the floor, you use your lower abs and your hip flexors. If you do it on the chair, it isolates your hip flexors more, right? So there, that's the bit that picks your legs up. So if you as you get older, you start shuffling when you run, like I do. It's because you're not picking your legs up. It's because you've got weak hip flexors. As you get older, your gait gets shorter. So you don't stride as much. And that's because you've got... Right. <laughs> Second set. Go. Do you know what? I thought this was easy when I had to go to the home. <laughs> No.
three, two, one. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> right, last set. Now you're comfortable with it. We're going to up it a notch. Same, same, same rules as what you do when you're on the floor. Yeah. So this one's for you as well. Zoom is. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, you should be able to do it now. Don't touch your feet together. Spread your legs. Only a little bit, because if you spread them too far, accidents happen. <laughs> right, three, two, one, go. So the idea is should be exactly the same. Try and keep your knees close together. So you bring them up and you're down. Right, you're just not letting one leg support the other. This will highlight if you've got a weak hip flexor. <laughs> they just need to not be touching. They don't have to. <laughs> Two, one, off. Oh. I'm going to dial in. They're much more sensible on there. <laughs> There's nothing at British Triathlon headquarters that prepares you for this class. <laughs> they've seen them, they've, video, they've videoed it. <laughs> they had to bin most of video. <laughs> well, don't you remember? There was that bloke under that table trying to get down the top shots of YouTube. <laughs> okay. Right, get up on your feet. Time to get mobile. Right, a bit more, a bit more plyometrics now. So we did some of these last time. So everything we're gonna, everything we're gonna do is in ski start, ski start. So you're gonna start. Everything starts in ski stance, right? So you're gonna go down, and all you're gonna do is just jump up, right? It's not cardio. We're gonna do it slowly. Eddie the Eagle. Yeah. Right, we are doing 30 seconds. Are you ready? Take it steady. It's not a race. Remember, it's the same one again. It's up and land and straight back down again. Pause, up, straight back down again. Nice and light on your toes. It's not cardio. It's plyometics. It's explosive power. Right, three, two, one, go. So just take your time. It's not a race. Get the most out of it. Get rate low. Set yourself high. Down, land. That's it. And perfect. Well done, Margaret. That's good. That's good, Paul. Straight down. As soon as you land on your toes, nice and soft, back down again. Well done, Andrew. That's a good launch. That's good, Debbie. Well done, Nicola. Three, two, one, off. Right, cast your mind back to before Christmas. We're going to jump forward this time. Thank God, cat. Thank God, cat's not here. We should be over there. <laughs> right, so this time you're going to start. You're going to gain your pose. You're going to go forwards, scurry back, and then off again. 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go. So remember, get nice and low before you launch. Now we're going forwards this time. <laughs> Another one. Two. That's it. That's good, you two. Good distance there. As low as you can. It's a good launch. Oh, you don't have to do it to go look back. It's just funny. <laughs> Three, two, 
one off. I suppose he does work your quads a bit more if you scurry back, bent down. <laughs> it's all good for you. So this shouldn't be cardio. So take your time with this. Take your time to set yourself, jump, land, go back. Take your time again. It's not a race. Yeah. This time, you're going side to side. Right, so make sure you keep your knees and feet together. So you're not stepping across, you're jumping across. So it's jump. Exactly, we're doing slalom skis. Right, three, two, one, go. Wait up, the dragons have got this one, they like this one. <laughs> Oh, we, we like this one, don't we? <laughs> no. <laughs> so nice and light. Again, take your time, lands. Take your time, lands. Three, two, one. Oh. Do you know what? You can tell when Mick doesn't like it because he's going time at 20 seconds. <laughs> Right, well done. I'm not going to let this plyometrics go, you see. You might have noticed that. Yeah. No. I'll get rid of that one. I'm oh, not, I'm scratching, I'm scr I'm scratching, I'm scratching an exercise. Kate's going to be upset, it's one she likes. It was brilliant. <laughs> We're running out of time. Got another two. Right, get down on all fours, quadruped in bear hold. No. So 30 seconds, you're just going to hold it here like that. That's all. Nice and easy, just to get you warmed up. Three, two, one, go. Don't worry, it gets better than this. Yeah? You want it in a minute? Ten more. Three, two, one, off. Right, what did I set for the next one? Get ready, going back into that position. Right, you're going to want to part your legs a little bit more to give you a bit more stability for this one and bring your hands slightly closer together. Yeah, you know, you're not shoulder tapping, you're just lifting an arm out in front. So put your hands slightly closer together, so a little bit more in, feet slightly wider. All you're going to do is one up, the other one up. 30 seconds. Ready and go. Try not to let your, your knees and your hips move. Nice purposeful lifting of your hands, pause back down again. Your hand that's left behind, imagine it's pushing into the ground. Press down with the opposite foot. 10 seconds, keep it going. So, one and off. <laughs> Wait till you see next week. I'd have had she's in prayer, she's in prayer position now. Right, last set. Same stance again. This time it's going to be a leg lift. So drive that heel out behind you, bring it back down, and then the other one. So this time you might want to put your hands a bit wider, your feet a bit closer together. Are you ready? Three, two, one, go. You can guess what's coming next week. 
<laughs> so if you're struggling with this, just hold the bear hole position again. All right, let's build it. We haven't done a lot of this one. But it is a good one that comes quite quickly. I've been doing these for a couple of months now. Three, two, one, and off. Well done. Yeah. Some people find that easy. Some people find it hard. Yeah. The trick is, it might be because you're not fully coming back into there. You, you're almost in a high plank. You, you, you're almost like that. So you've got to make sure you're coming back down to that. That's better, yeah. You let you... <laughs> Don't worry, next week it's one arm, one leg at the end. <laughs> right then, last one, then we'll do some stretch down. Back extensions. We haven't done these for a while, so this should be your glutes. So we're not going to lift your feet off the ground, just your upper body. Yeah, but no, but leave your feet in. So feet together, toes on the floor, and then you're just going to come up and down. So you're going to come up. 30 seconds. I want you to do it slowly. And when you come up, I want you to give a count for two in your head. One, two. Right? Count elephants. Yeah? Three, two, one, go. So it's a nice up, hold for a count of two, back down again. So you need... No, we're going to do that later. That's coming. So up, hold it, back down again. Nice and controlled back down. Don't just face plant the floor. As much as I find that amusing, <laughs> it's not good. It's not a good exercise. Keep your toes on the floor and drive your toes into the floor when you lift up. It will force you to engage your glutes rather than using your lower back. Two, one, and off. Yeah, keep your toes on the floor. Push Physically push your toes into the floor as you lift up. It will force you to squeeze your butt cheeks. Right, this time we're going to do the same thing again. But you're going to have your arms behind your back. So clasp them behind your back, same thing again. You're just going to pull up and then back down again. Yep. So this time, if you just let it go and smash into the ground, you're going to head up the floor. Three, two, one, go. So remember, try and pull, try and pull your arms out straight. <laughs> I try and bring bigger hair bags. Yeah, come on, you've got to get your moobs and boobs off the floor for this one. No, just squeezing your pecs and lifting yourself off the ground. Last five seconds, keep it going. Yeah, if you're struggling with your hands, two, one, and off. If you're struggling with the lotus position, the locust position with the hands locked out, just put your hands side behind your back and just snake and just pull up. But you just don't get the same concentration along your back. Last one. Same. This is the first one, cactus position. We're coming up. We're going to hold it for 30 seconds because it was Ellen's idea. I'm not holding it now. <laughs> yeah. We're holding it now, yes. Right, do you get that, Zoomies? So this time it's 30 seconds up, and we're just going to hold it for 30 seconds. So all you lot that are on the floor, and I can't see you, you can get yourself a coffee or a gin right now. Right, three, two, one, go. Feet on the floor still, yeah? So remember, if you're struggling, start to push your feet into the ground more. Squeeze your glutes. This is all about using your glutes, not your lower back. Keep it going. Halfway. Come on, hold it. So you're back in cactus because it's harder with your hands out in front. Two, one, and off. Well done. Up on your feet. Right, quick cool down then, because we're, I knew this was going to take a long time.
What? You need your tea. <laughs> right then, just reach up, straight down in forward fold, nice and low. So we're not on about stretching legs here, just bend your knees as far as you need to to get your chest on your knees. So that's all you're aiming for here, get your chest on your knees. Don't worry, by the time you're 80, your chest's on your knees anyway. Big deep breath in, give your bum a little wriggle, take all that tension out of your lower back, let it go a bit further. Deep breath in, roll up. Just cross your legs over. Right leg over left leg, or whatever you're calling right leg tonight. And then same down again, but this time you're keeping your back straight, weight on your back leg, back leg straight. Don't close your eyes. Just feel that stretch. Deep breath in. Breathe out a bit further. Real feel that stretch in your glute, lower back. Roll up, change legs. Other side. Same again, weight on your back leg, back leg straight, straight back as you can. If you need to support from your leg, support from your leg. Deep breath in, breathe out, just get a bit further. Deep breath in, roll up. Right, find yourself a bit of wall. Let's stretch them, stretch them quads out. So just pick your leg up behind your back. God, I can't stand up straight. Get your knees together first. Once your knees are together, drive your hips forwards. Get yourself nice and upright, head above the heart, heart above the hips. And just push your pelvis. Really engage that quad. You'll feel it straight down the front of your leg. You've worked your quads hard tonight. One last push, give it another push through your hips and release, change legs. Same again, get that knee, get your knees together, hips facing forwards, get yourself nice and upright. Head up, shoulders back, chest out. Push them, push them hips forwards, feel that stretch. If you're comfortable and you're on the wall, just take your hand away. Let that proprioception take over your balance. One last push, extra stretch in your quad. And release. Nice long stretch, stance. Hands on hips, just drop down low. Just feel like a little bit of a stretch down your hip flexor. I'll not go all the way down tonight. One last push, just drop your hips a bit lower. Back up, change legs. Obviously drive that heel back, make sure that back leg's straight, then just lower your hips. And back up, check your legs off, throw your arms over. And back the other way. Hey, little Angela. <laughs> Thanks, Jen. Hands on your hips. Give it some Elvis. Taller twirls. And back the other way. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've run out of me uh, me workout playlist. And it's gone back onto Radio One. Amazon Music's fallen out with me at the moment. <laughs> And shake it off. I like streets as well. <laughs> right, well done, everybody. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yes. yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Di. <laughs>